Hey guys, this is Mike, aka Prime. So I'm doing another video on basically how to upgrade your old Mac to the newest version, like uh, Katina that we're using now. Or because uh, if you're getting these messages, you know, not supported operating system for your applications or browser anymore, this will be good for you to upgrade it. Also, um, you should uh, see how old your computer is first. I I will recommend anything above um, 2011 iMacs or MacBook Pros or MacBook Airs. Make sure you have an i5 processor or above. Nothing like an i3. So you want an i5 or an i7 and make sure you have 8 gigs or more of RAM because if you have anything less than those guys um, it's going to be very slow. So also you want to make sure you have an SSD hard drive in there. You want to upgrade your SSD hard drive. Um, in my other videos I can show you how to clone hard drives. Um, so let's get started. So the first thing you want to do, it goes go to DOS dude, Katina patch, Katina Patrick, and then you click on that link, and then you want to download the latest version. So this patcher is going to let you download the Katina, and then um, you'll be able to install it on your current Mac. So let's give it a sec. Okay, so once it's done, I'm going to click on the patcher. And then you want to run it. Alright, so if you get this message, you want to go to your system preferences. Click there. And you want to go to security. So you want to lock it. Do that, and then you want to open it up again. Uh, yeah, so if you get the, so have it open, and then see how it says open up, open anyway. So you just select that, and okay. And then this time it should open up correctly. Yep. Alright, so here we go. So now you can close this, hit continue, continue. So you want to download the copy of the operating system here. And then you just hit start download. Alright, so it's going to take a while, so let's pause it and then uh, we'll come back. Hey guys, so once it's done, you're going to get this uh, installation method. Uh, what we want to do is create a bootable installer. From like a flash drive, so make sure you have like an empty flash drive. It has to be over 10 gigs, I believe. Um, and then you want to insert the flash drive into your computer because this is what we're going to use to install the uh, OS from the flash drive onto the onto the actual unit. So select that, and then after we're going to mine my flash drive is called Mojave Installer because I used my old one. So uh, I'm going to use the Mojave Installer. And then um, that's where I'm going to install it on. So I'm going to select Mojave Installer. And then from there, I'm going to select Start. Hit Yes. Type in your admin password. And then we'll wait for this to install. As we're waiting for this to install, guys, you also make sure you back up your computer. You can do a time machine backup or a manual backup, but you definitely want to do a backup of all your stuff because we're going to have to wipe this drive out. So um, make sure you back up all your documents, everything, pictures and everything onto like a flash drive or external hard drive 
or you can use Time Machine. And Time Machine also helps you out. Um, I have other videos that shows you how to back up um, your Mac, um, but that's exactly what you do. You want to back up your unit onto those because uh, you don't want to lose any of your information. All right, so now once it's done, you'll get the success. Um, so which, what we're going to do is we're going to shut down and then uh, we'll install the actual uh, flash drive into it. And then we'll go from there. All right, guys. Bye. Hey, guys. So once it's shut down, what you want to do is turn it on. You want to hold down your option key. So you get this screen and then go over to installer and wait for this to load okay so once this is up what you want to do is you want to select reinstall OS continue oh guys I forgot to tell you uh, let's go back exit this Go to disk utilities. You want to make sure your hard drive that you're going to install is the APFS volume. You want to make sure if not, erase and make your make your hard drive back, or it's not going to install properly. Once you're done, then go here. Continue. Agree. Select the hard drive you want and hit install. And then once you install, you should be all good. No issues. If you have issues, you might have to reformat the hard drive again and start, start it up again. All right, guys. Okay, guys, so once you're up, you should be have your operating systems uh, all set. And then all you want to do for in, like, the future is run this patch updater. It'll check for all the latest updates for you, and then um, it'll keep you up to date. This will fix uh, any issues, like let's say if you have with your operating system, stuff like that. But pretty much that. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Have a good one.